This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Kentucky head coach John Calipari has had a solid two days, a dominant win over LSU Saturday, which we'll get to in just a minute. But today, Coach Cal's son, Brad Calipari, announced his commitment to play basketball at the University of Kentucky. Brad Calipari tweeted this afternoon, quote, blessed to be able to say I'll be a part of the hashtag BBN next year, close quote. Looks like Big Blue Nation can relax about all the NBA rumors and Coach Cal at least for a few more years. Well, to Saturday's game now, finally a dominant performance for the Kentucky Wildcats, a 94-77 win over LSU at Rupp Arena on Senior Day. Now, Kentucky turns its attention to the SEC tournament in Nashville this week. And their confidence level, well, it's high as it should be. With four of their five starters finishing in double figures yesterday, Jamal Murray posted another 20-point game. Scalabissier close to a double-double with 19-8. and eight. And Tyler Eulis with 14 points, four assists. Coach Cal, obviously pleased. It's two things. We try to empower our team. South Carolina empowered them. There were things that happened that they called on their own, not from the bench. Empowered is first thing, and then the second thing is you got to have a confident team going into that tournament. And it can't be two guys. So now you look at Alex playing with confidence, Marcus playing with confidence, Derek playing with confidence, Scal playing with confidence, the other guys playing with confidence, and now all of a sudden we got an empowered team that's playing with confidence. Kentucky, the two seed in the SEC tournament. Texas A&M with the one seed on the opposite side of the bracket from UK. The Cats have a double bye and won't play again until Friday night at 7 o'clock Eastern time. They'll face the winner of Ole Miss, Alabama. That game is on Thursday. You can watch the Cats play on the SEC network. Well, on the women's side now, Kentucky lost to South Carolina Saturday in the semifinals of the women's SEC tournament. The Gamecocks beat the Wildcats by 30, but after one of the worst losses of the season for UK Hoops, head coach Matthew Mitchell said he didn't want this game to shatter his team's confidence heading into the NCAA tournament. Instead, focused on how the team turned a rough January around and finished out the season strong. I'm real proud of our team. You know, back uh, in the first few days of February, we were four and six and didn't didn't know what was going to happen with the rest of our season and what we have accomplished in the month of uh, February and the beginning of March. I'm extremely proud of, of our players and our team. And um, as, as good as that looked out there for South Carolina, I wouldn't trade places with them. I really, really love our team. Sticking with the postseason preparation theme, the Union College Bulldogs hit the road to Point Lookout, Missouri for the NAI Division II National Tournament. The Bulldogs are a two-seed in their bracket and meet up with seven-seeded Cal Maritime on Wednesday night at 5 o'clock. Coach Kevin Burton says his team's experience in the tournament should help them in, the, in tight game situations. We have experienced the good version of us and the not-so-good version of us, and those things have been very well pointed out to them and I, I think uh, they understand how to be more of the good version of themselves um, as far as system of play and, and what they're good at and things of that nature to help, to help our basketball team and, and we've been doing that. We certainly did that in, a turn, in our conference tournament and hopefully we'll continue to do that in the next week. Finally, reports coming down this morning that Denver Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning is set to retire. Number 18 spent 18 seasons in the National Football League. The five-time MVP is only one of two quarterbacks to beat every team in the NFL. He's the only quarterback to win Super Bowls with two different franchises.